uh, yeah, it was it was a new experience, but at the same time, I knew this was probably the the Avengers of a cast that I can hope for in my life. Uh, it's happened, and uh, you know, just to be in that painting with mm-hmm. these tall words uh, was enough a reason to just to jump onto it. Uh, you know, if. Uh, I don't think there can be a cast like this ever again. It's not so often to see a brilliant ensemble cast coming together for a web series. IC814, The Kandahar Hijack, comprises of a stellar cast directed by Anubhav Sena based on a true story that has not been narrated before on the small screen. Before I move forward with the review, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. 25 years ago, an Indian Airlines flight from Kathmandu to Delhi was taken over by a group of terrorists. Anubhav Sena, in his streaming debut, narrates the terrible anguish the 180 people on board that fateful aircraft including crew and passengers underwent for 8 days as they were held captive and forced to fly to Amritsar, Lahore, Dubai and finally the Taliban governed Kandahar in Afghanistan. Unlike other hijacked thrillers in recent years, this web series finds its own flight path. This means that the show doesn't only focus on the passengers during those 8 days, the response of the pilot, the flight attendants and the bureaucratic problems and an external affairs minister to the panic-inducing crisis defines the substance and the scope of this web series. IC814 The Kandahar Hijack has both its share of flaws and winning points. Let's start with the positive aspects of this show. Number 1. Writing and Direction Imaginatively conceived and fleshed out, the makers deviate from the traditional tropes of hijack thrillers. We do not see action like Yoda or Bell Bottom. The writing is grounded in reality. We do not see any of the passengers or crew members attempt to overpower the terrorists. Anubhav Sena has done his best to stay true to the story. The choices made by the characters like that of Vijay Verma's do not result in superficial thrillers or action pieces inside the plane. They spark life-threatening conflicts that put his true metal as a man and a pilot to the test. Perhaps this is why I found the web series gripping and watched it in one sitting. Besides, I also admire the fact that Anubhav Sena strikes a fine balance between the factual and the imaginary, the concrete and the conjectural, the reality and the speculative without letting the fiction and dramatization overshadow the reality. The screenplay and the dialogues are another plus point of the show. It's not an easy job to sit through six episodes of a web series, but the fast-paced screenplay and the dialogues do not let you get bored. Anubhav Sena leads a writing team that includes co-creator Trishan of the Jamtara fame and the British journalist Adrian Levy who shares the story credit with Srivastav. They deliver a show that is never hamstrung by a big Hindi movie formula. Furthermore, Anubhav Sena successfully presents different, often conflicting points of view and ideologies through many character and circumstances. We see a conflict between two journalists portrayed by Amrita Puri and Dia Mirza. Then we have a heated discussion between the families of the passengers and kins of soldiers advising against the release of the terrorists. Anubhav Sena skillfully presents two sides of every pressing argument, making one real realize that oftentimes there are no easy answers. Number 2. The Editing and the Cinematography The Netflix thriller adapts Amar Singh Chamkila-style storytelling and editing, intercutting the dramatized goings-on with explanatory voiceover, real footage and new clips of the well-documented catastrophe, providing even the unversed with ample context to stay interested. The slick editing is further complemented by an immersive cinematography, giving this six-episode web series the feeling of a well-made documentary. The number and duration of each episode does complete justice to the story narrated by the makers. Number 3. The Ensemble Cast and the Performances Something that caught my eye from the time the makers released the trailer was the show's formidable cast. I can't remember the last time seeing a huge ensemble of talented actors coming together for a show delivering their best. Vijay Verma is brilliant as Captain Sharon IC814's flying pilot. Vijay Verma 
cinema impresses you by his subtle performance portraying an ordinary man stuck in an extraordinary situation. The actor is making his place within the industry with every single release. Aditi Gupta as Chaya is impressive and a delight to watch. Patraleka is splendid as a flight attendant Indrani and delivers her best. Dia Mirza as a journalist is another great performer who delivers a lot in a limited role. Amrita Puri as Dia Mirza's fellow journalist also leaves the much needed impact. Nasir Dini Shah is commendable while the veteran Pankaj Kapoor is a treat to watch on a screen after a long time. His performance is restrained and makes you wish to see him more often on the screen. Another actor who has been getting his due lately is Aditya Srivastava. Hopefully the casting agents and other directors keep giving him roles that do justice to his talent. Arvind Swami as a sane and reasonable voice in the face of a crisis is brilliant. Manoj Pawa as a negotiator brings both depth and humor to his character in an otherwise serious web series. Someone else that impressed me was the comedian Rajiv Thakur in a negative role. He shines in his role and shows that he's more than just a stand-up comedian. Now the negative aspects. Number one, like I said earlier, it's absolutely impressive to come up with a star cast as such. However, in this effort, the show doesn't do justice to all of them. For example, Kumud Mishra, Tiviendu Bhattacharya, Kamaljeet Singh, Yashpal Sharma and Sushant Singh unfortunately do not have much to offer except appearing in a limited number of scenes. They are treated like a couple of extras. I believe it would have been better had Anubhav Sena used other reasonably unknown actors and instead of these five brilliant actors who are wasted. On the whole, I think IC814 is a great show to binge watch thanks to the ensemble cast and gripping screenplay. Director Anubhav Sena makes a terrific OTT debut proving that he is a master storyteller. This is it for me guys, write down your thoughts in the comments below and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more content in the future.